Hello everyone, welcome. I hope everyone is doing well today wherever you are. I know it's been a while since our last upload. Things have been pretty crazy on our end with spiritual warfare and health issues, but uh, we are happy to give praise reports for that in a later video. Um, during that time, the Lord called us to take a step back, so, and during that time, the Lord really poured himself into us. So having said all that, we'll get right into this, and that brings us to the topic of today's video. How do we wait while staying encouraged? How do we find that balance between watching and occupying? You know, when it comes to watching and waiting for the rapture of the church, it can be hard to find the balance and stay encouraged while we are watching as the spiritual warfare is, is so intense right now. And not only that, things are moving so very fast, just as the Bible said it would. You know, sometimes when we're watching, we see how fast things are moving and we just go, Oh boy. But, but here we are, and these are events no one has ever seen before and nobody will ever see again. But praise God, we have the Bible. We know how this ends, right, family? So it is very humbling, sobering, overwhelming, and exciting, all at the same time, the place we are. Given that this is, we are the generation that was chosen to see the rapture of the church. And so we have to remember that while we're waiting and watching, it's not easy. And watching is not for everyone. Yes, we should be watching, but the Lord knows not everyone will watch. Many of our family members or friends don't even see what is going on and don't understand the world we live in and the time we are in. And when you try to tell them, they just look at you like deer in the headlights or mock and scoff. And so that is hard. It's extremely hard. Um, that is why pressing into the Lord, reading the Word daily, praying is so vital in these tumultuous times. There is a reason there is a special crown in heaven waiting for those that are watching and eagerly awaiting His return. When we think of a race or preparing for an athletic event, the training is never easy, and the race itself never is easy either, but we strive for that crown, we strive for that victory, and this trophy at the end. Not that the reasoning we do it, not that that is the reasoning we do it, we don't do it for a crown, we do it because we love Him, but that earthly concept is similar to us achieving crowns, right? So point being, the worthwhile things are never easy to achieve. And that brings us to balance. You have two extremes, and the Lord doesn't want us to be on either extreme. He, do he doesn't want us to be watching so much that we forget to occupy or go into the wilderness, pack up our things and sing Kumbaya until He comes. You know, no, then we're not being effective for his kingdom and hiding our light that is Christ from shining unto the world. Now he wants us to be out in the world ministering to others about Christ, showing others Christ's goodness through our lives and so on. God uses us all differently. We're all different parts of the same body. Sometimes talking to your neighbor is being more effective than running a YouTube ministry. Even a simple smile can brighten somebody else's day. We just never know what another person is going through, and those seeds add up over a period of time. You never know. One interaction, one event, may lead that person down a path where they will accept salvation or even come back to the Lord. We are still here. It is still day. We still have jobs to do. We still have responsibilities. 
He wants us to keep pressing through and pressing on until he comes or until we're called home. Now you have the other extreme. The Lord also does not want us to be on the other extreme where we don't watch at all. So the balance is somewhere in the middle of those ext two extremes, right? And that balance is different for everybody. It's not a one size fits all deal. And I'll be honest, up until recently, the balance was off for David and I. That is one of the reasons why we had to take a step back on top of health issues because we were consumed with watching and ended up getting discouraged because we have we have been watching for a while so the enemy was using that to steal our joy from watching and keeping us from being effective and we still do and will watch for high watch times but the Lord has been teaching us not to be so invested in date watching but rather day watching in other words we look for the day that is swiftly approaching we watch for that day when we have that perspective it makes date watching a lot easier because we know he's coming he promised that and we know we are in the season and we are ready to go whenever that shofar blast comes he doesn't have to call us twice um, but since we took a step back and the Lord began working in us on how to find that happy medium, we have been much happier and joyous while watching. It's almost like the burden was lifted from us because it can be burdensome watching, right? You know how it is. But if you're having a hard time watching, getting discouraged, if that's you, chances are the balance may not be right. Our suggestion there is you pray to the Lord, have him show you the balance. Get into something that will take your mind off of watching, such as taking a stroll, drawing, reading the word, visit a friend, garden, you know, whatever that may be. That thing that you enjoy doing that you can de-stress. Take some time for yourself and unplug from the world. It's important to remember that unplugging or taking a step back to refocus doesn't mean you love the Lord any less. All it means is the Lord is going to use that time to show you balance, to teach you perspective and how to stay in the present. And staying in the present is key as none of us are promised tomorrow. Yes, we plan for things like the future and we should be planning as this keeps us occupying. What we don't want to do is plan with the perspective and the attitude of that future plan consuming us or putting the cart ahead of the horse. We want to keep that horse ahead of the cart, right? None of you know this about me, but I used to be a professional golfer and was in the golf business. I was teaching and competed at a high level. I was doing all of those things and in fact my dream was to be a touring professional golfer when I was younger. You know, one of the things all great golfers do, like Tiger Woods, Jack Nicholas, Annika Sorenstam, and many others well, like them, they have mastered the skill of staying in the present. And that can be said for every sport. When, when you're not thinking ahead, but rather in the moment, you perform well. And golf, is one of those sports where you have to stay in the present in order to do well. When you step up to that ball, your mind has to be completely focused on that shot. If you're focused on the shot before, you're not going to perform well. If your mind goes to the next hole or the next shot before you've even hit the current shot, you're not going to do well either. So golf has really taught me how to stay in the present and that being in the present is a very important life skill and it translates to watching with balance as well as our walk with Christ. In our walks we take each day one day at a time, one step at a time. We know our future is in heaven and staying in the present is probably the hardest thing to do, but 
we still have to make plans we still have responsibilities while we're still here so to sum up as we wait balance finding balance is key staying in the present is key to not only finding the balance but also having a healthy perspective on the times we are in and our daily walks as well which also translates into more joyous watching so family stay in the word stick close to christ for he is the one that is going to get you through everything he is our comforter our teacher our provider and our strength remember the season is going to be very short family and no doubt about it we are in the season i pray this helps you family and you are encouraged and blessed by it i just want to take a moment to close our message with prayer dear heavenly father we just ask that you lift up the body and all those that are watching this video we just pray that you cloak them with your love and your goodness father that you guide them in all things that they do that if those that are discouraged that you take their discouragement from them today and encourage them lord lord give them all that they need give them the strength that they need to get to the next day and father we just ask that you guide us that you guide them in their daily walks as well that they be the best ambassadors for you that we can be in these final moments father lord we love you and thank you so much in jesus name we pray amen thank you family we love you and remember our best days are yet ahead